Jeopardy champion Ken Jennings is sticking by John Roderick's side after his podcast co-host received a bunch of backlash for a teaching moment he has since deleted after sharing it with his followers on Twitter. According to The Wrap, it all started when John sent out 23 tweets about the time his nine-year-old daughter didn't know how to use a manual can opener on a can of baked beans. Instead of helping his daughter, John looked at the incident as a teaching moment and basically let his daughter figure out how to use the can opener on her own. This reportedly took six hours on and off and ended up with John's daughter breaking down in tears while he worked on a jigsaw puzzle nearby. Of course, after airing out his story, Twitter users started criticizing John by calling him Bean Dad and even went as far as accusing him of child abuse. According to The Hollywood Reporter, John initially defended himself and made light of the situation by changing his Twitter bio to Bean Dad since 2021. Once the backlash came in, John reportedly wrote, Somehow my story about teaching my daughter how to work out how to use a can opener and overcome her frustration got over onto a version of Twitter where I'm being accused of child abuse. It's astonishing. My kid is fine, everybody. But John isn't the only one defending his actions. Ken came to John's defense by tweeting, extremely jealous and annoyed that my podcast co-host is going to be a dictionary entry and I never will. Ken then goes on to add that he personally knows John to be a loving and attentive dad who tells heightened for effect stories and ended calling the site so dumb. The situation then turned into Twitter users sharing screenshots of John's alleged past tweets and asked Ken his thoughts on his co-host's alleged anti-Semitic tweets. To which Ken responded with, if we're word searching through old tweets now, it's pretty easy to find what he actually thinks about anti-Semitism. On our show, he's always the pro-Israel one. When a Twitter user criticized Ken's response, the Jeopardy champion added, how about there's no access where any anti-Semitic screenshot represents any actual opinion I've ever heard from him. John has since deleted his Twitter account following the backlash. Just when he thought we left all the weird stuff behind in 2020, it somehow manages to find its way back into the limelight.